Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I am Zemo the Dan DPS and today's video is a little bit different. It's in response to the recent announcements from Bethesda involving the game and its future. But before we get into that, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And a big thanks goes out to our uh, YouTube members, Twice Baked Spuds, Golty and Wyatt Blackburn. Thank you very much for your support guys, I can't do this without you. So it's official guys, we finally have a release date for Steel Rain. Now it is going to be the 7th of July, so we have just under a month until it releases. And it is the final part of the Brotherhood of Steel's story in Appalachia, at least for now. And we basically get to choose whether they implode or explode, I'm really not sure how it's going to pan out. Obviously the DLC trailer has came in and there is a lot of super mutant orientated uh, action going on. Um, there's also the, I suppose the, um, the new picture for the DLC slash expansion, whatever you want to call it, um, and it has a unique looking super mutant model in the background which is probably going to be the end boss of the um, of the story in that uh, so it should be interesting to see what we get and hopefully this creature is something that can maybe be triggered um, and summoned into Appalachia on a regular basis on the par with Errol or the Scorch Beast Queen because that would be very good and if it is a super mutant FEV bomb that you can drop I definitely want want some money from Bethesda. I'm not going to get money from Bethesda. <laughs> but yeah, I, I definitely am excited to see whether this uh, is going to be a new big encounter that we can trigger on a regular basis to add to the rotation of Queen, Earl, and whatever this thing is going to be. The Super Mutant Jugger make something. I don't know. I really don't know what it's going to be. I am excited to see the end of the storyline though. I am hoping that there is a secret third option and that's to kill them all with the exception of the scribe because I like her. But either way, we'll get to see what happens to the Brotherhood. Now obviously there is another part to this announcement that we've had recently and that is the announcement that we're going back to Pittsburgh or more accurately the Pit. Now, if you're not familiar with The Pit, it's a DLC from Fallout 3. So it's a location that we have actually previously visited in the Fallout universe. And it's pretty grim, if I'm honest. If you've not played that DLC, but if you've not played Fallout 3, I'd recommend you, you go back and play it. But definitely play that DLC. There's a lot of cool um, things that go on. I'm not going to go into the, the full story of The Pit. It's a heavily um, industrial and slaver themed kind of place. Um, so there's a lot of crazy crap that goes on in the pit. And I'm really excited to see what the expeditions provide. Um, hopefully we get some, some uh, more elaboration on what that's going to involve, whether we are going to, whether it's going to be a solo kind of thing, if it's going to be like Nuclear Winter where it is outside of the realms of the normal game, or if we are going to be able to go individually on each character out of Appalachia to the pit and punch some slavers in the craw. Um, it should be definitely interesting and it excites me for one particular reason. And that is the resurgence of a weapon I expect to see, and that's the auto axe. I really want an auto axe. I want a weapon that is an axe, but a chainsaw. I want the auto axe. Does anybody else want the auto axe? I definitely want the auto axe. Um, it also brings in the possibility of other new weapons and things like that, just obviously like uh, Steel Rain is going to do. Um, so I, I'm really looking forward to seeing what we get out of it. New outfits, um, new weapons, um, just a new place to explore really. That That's kind of the thing. I mean, I know we've already technically explored the pit, but this will be very different. Or it will be a recreation of it, which in the sense is also exciting. I would really love to see the um, the graphical upgrade to what 
originally was in the pit. And what we actually get out of expeditions, because there must be some sort of reward, because if it's more like um, Daily Ops, for example, uh, which I doubt is going to be like Daily Ops, um, there's going to have to be some sort of reward, some sort of thing that we get out of it, because we're only going there on a brief basis. I mean, we're not founding our home in the pit, so I doubt you'll be able to create a camp and all that kind of thing. But it should be interesting to see. And at least we've got a kind of more clear timeline of when these things are happening, at least for the steel rain. The pit, we've got a while yet before we find out when that's going to happen, but it definitely excites me and I am looking forward to it expressively. Now, the last bit of news I'm obviously... Uh, are behind everybody on and that is the closure of nuclear winter that's coming in September so if you haven't already I would probably recommend going into nuclear winter to try it at least once I will be doing that in the near future when I get the time but unfortunately I am always doing something stupid in terms of either working looking after the kids that kind of thing so and making these videos and unfortunately it's not gave me a huge amount of time for things like nuclear winter because obviously it cuts into my video time but that is what it is so yeah go to nuclear winter so that was the video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe especially if you've got some theories and information about the coming content and yeah, go check out Nuclear Winter before it's gone. Um, I think it'll be a missed opportunity for a lot of people, myself included. But that potentially is what it is. And if you did like this format, um, especially with the little stuff I was trying out today, don't forget to say down below and hit the like and subscribe button for more of this in the future. I'll catch you all next time in the Wasteland.